Rights and Responsibilities for Kids. In the United States, citizens have certain rights and certain responsibilities. Today, we are going to talk about the difference between these two things and why knowing your rights is important. Let's get started. A right is something every human being deserves to have or do, no matter who they are or where they live. For example, everyone has a right to basic human needs, like food and water. A responsibility is something a person must do or think about, and may have an effect on other people. For example, you may have a responsibility to clean your room or perform other chores at home. Rights and responsibilities are linked to each other. For example, you have a right to attend school, but it is your responsibility to get out of bed and actually go. You have a right to be treated fairly, but you have a responsibility to speak up if you see that someone in your family or community is not being treated fairly. There are many rights and responsibilities that each person has within a community. And not everyone has the same rights and responsibilities. For instance, in the United States, adults over 18 years old have the right to vote. Children do not. In your family, you probably do not have the responsibility of going grocery shopping. But you probably have to help put the groceries away. Here is an interesting fact. The United States of America has a document called the Bill of Rights, which guarantees all Americans certain rights. Some of these rights are freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to assemble, the right to a speedy trial, and lots more. Pretty cool, right? Now that we have learned the difference between rights and responsibilities, let's see if we can label which of the following are rights and which are responsibilities. Feel safe and secure in your community. Right. Take care of your property and respect other people's property. Responsibility. Stand up for your rights and the rights of others. Responsibility. Feel comfortable and not be treated badly by others. Right. Freedom of speech that is respectful and does not harm others. Right. Access to health care, clean water, and a safe environment. Right. Caring about others who may not be as strong as you or who may need help. Responsibility. Well done, friends. Have you ever heard of the saying, with great power comes great responsibility? The rights that we have can help us hold power. And with that, we have a responsibility to use that power in ways that help others. If we do not, there can be negative consequences. Here are some of the things that can happen when someone is not responsible. Others may be bullied or treated unfairly and feel unsafe. Kids in a classroom may find it hard to learn new things. As you learn and grow up, you will be better able to use your power for good. Whether it is saying hello to someone who looks lonely or to stand up for someone who is being bullied, you can make a difference. Even though it might not feel like it, you hold great power and your possibilities are endless. At the end of the day, everyone in the world is different and special and deserves respect. Everyone has rights too, but in order to enjoy those rights, it is important to be responsible. When you are responsible, your family, friends, neighbors, 
and other community members can also enjoy their rights. What kinds of things can you do today that will help create a better tomorrow? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.